Well, I'm back with a little short video. And this is on my uh, sleeping bag. I've, I've used it like maybe two to three times maybe. I can't give a, a full review on it yet because I haven't used it enough, but so far I'm happy with it. It's a Western Mountaineering. And it's from the USA. So, that's where it's made. Right there, Western Mountaineering. Now, this is the bag. It's its compression. Well, not really compression. It's the sack that comes with it. So you take with you when you go camping. Now, I don't use that. Now, this one here I kind of really leave, leave at home. I don't, I don't take this one. What I have it stored in is a 13 liter Alter, Alter uh, Sill dry sack from Sea to Summit. So if you can picture this, this is it. And just to show you, this is a 500, uh, I got a 500 milliliter uh, water. Just to give you the size comparison. Just to show you what I got this compressed down to. Now this 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 sleep, now I bought this from Mech, Mech Mountain Equipment Co-op, and I had a special order it because I got the long the long uh, the long width, kind of the long length, and uh, what else? Uh, and the right zipper, left right zipper, because I sleep in the hammock, so the zipper's on the right side, so I needed the right zipper, so I had a special order this. So. I've had it, like I said, for a year and a half. Other than that, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. This is what it looks like when it's compressed. This is about the size I can get it. I can get it down likely a little bit more, but like I say, I'm storing that into a, a 13 liter. I think they, they, we, uh, we, uh, they're saying a 20 liter maybe, but I'm, I'm, I'm stuffing that into a 13 liter. You can see a little bit of space at the top. I'm gonna pull this out. Nice, uh, nice, uh, nice bright green. I love that there. That thing lost up pretty good. Now that's a three, that's a three season. Now, I use this for four season. I use this all winter. This is my winter sleeping bag. This is a three season sleeping bag. As you can see, she's hood and Great. You'll see it's the Versalite. It's for people that are six foot, six inches, extreme light series, right zip. Goose down. It's uh, 850 uh, goose down. And the reason why I, uh, the reason I got the long, the, the longer one, even though I'm 5'10 and I'm weighing around 245 pounds, I wanted the extra room, but also in the winter, that way you can stick your clothes in the bottom. You have a little bit more, I like a little bit more room. I don't want it really tight in me. The thing, uh, it fits me perfect. So. And this is a combination of the clothing that I wear out in the winter too. So, uh, like I'm, I'm layering up in, in uh, merino wool and uh, wool clothing when I sleep in this in the winter. Now, if it was the fall like it is now, I had this out, I'd just wear a pair of shorts. Leave it unzipped a bit, I'll be fine. Then you you can combine that with a an air or a, an air air pad or a, you know an insulated air pad, which I have. You know, everyone has an air pad. So one thing one thing about the Western Mountaineering, it's it's a well known. You're you're paying for a brand name there, but you're you're paying for quality. One thing I do like about it, you'll notice this if you uh, get a sleeping bag and you get a cheap sleeping bag, you're gonna notice this right away. on sleeping bags is the zipper. Watch this. Look at that. No snags. If you have a crappy sleeping bag, you're going to get snags. I can, I can do this all day. So you see, it's it's uh, black inside. 
and they and they uh, put a little signature on there. Who does the, you know, got the logo, made in USA. Who signs it, you know? Who it was sewn by? Got a nice, uh, nice uh, neck collar here, the baffle, and look at that. And you can see a nice thick. Uh, you can see where the zipper sits up in here. So you got this draft tube, this great big draft tube down along the, the edge here. Like, really thick, really thick. So when that zips up, when that's when that goes up in there, it's covering. You got this big draft, so you're not getting no air in here. That's it's a sweet bag. Yep. So that's uh, from Western Mountaineering. That's a Versalite. And it weighs around uh, about 2.1 pounds. And that's another reason why I went for three season because it was a little lighter. Even though I am in Canada and it gets extremely cold. But like I say, that's a combination. I can use this in the winter, which I have. Just be me using the combination of wool clothing and I sleep with a toque on and extra socks if I need. So it works perfect for me. And I wanted to go lightweight. it is I got the sleeping bag back in here it compresses down to this as you see 13 liters feet of summer ultra sill ultra sill compared to the 500 uh, water bottle that I brought in just gives you an idea and this is like two 2.1 pounds I believe this one and this is the long one remember this is the long one so if you get a medium one or a smaller sleeping bag, it's going to be a little lighter. 850 goose down, but like I said, I, this is a three season uh, sleeping bag, but I use it for a four season. Great, and this is what you would store it in, the Western Mountaineering uh, Versalite. But I don't because it just has the draw cord. It's not waterproof, and I don't want, this is why I'm using the waterproof bag to see the summit, because I don't want that sleeping bag getting wet. That's not good for your down. So, yeah. Now I don't, uh, I just brought this out here just to demonstrate, but I don't usually store this in this. I just store it in this here, throw this in my backpack. It's just another way to carry this bag out. Oh. Compact. So if you if you if you do want to carry it in that, you can. It's, I just don't think you can get the comp you won't get the compression down in it because there's quite a bit, but a space in there with with uh, the 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 dry bag I'm using. The seat is some I can I can clamp it down and roll it a bit, then clamp it so I, I get it, it. It's in there. But if you did use this, it's not going to be a big deal. Yeah. Western Mountaineering. Almost forgot to mention there on the sleeping bag. <laughs> It's a 12, a minus 12 uh, Celsius there, yeah. Almost forgot that. That's like the important uh, part of the sleeping bag that you would likely want to know. It's a minus 12. Yes, and I use that in the winter. Down to minus 18. I had it down to minus 18 likely the last time I was out. A little challenging because I do sleep in a hammock. So I gotta do a little bit of different gear, but hey, it works. But yeah, I like the, like I said, it's a combination of my gear, wool clothing, combination with you know your air pad your different layers other than that yeah and also you don't leave this compressed I, I have with other sleeping bags that one there no there it comes with another bag a large large bag and that's what you're gonna store it in so when you get home when I get home I'm gonna take that out and that goes right back in there so only when I'm hiking in and out it gets compressed and hiking back and forth to campsites that's the only time because it will, they say it will destroy your uh, sleeping bag because it is goose down. Yeah, so that might be an important part to tell. So, almost forgot. Just had a group of uh, a family go through here. <laughs> so, I didn't think of nobody else would be coming through here. So, I think about a campsite when you're doing reviews and stuff on a campsite. It's nice because you got your own campsite. Nobody's really walking through your campsite. Depends on what campsite you have. But when you're on a trail, like I'm, like I'm right on a trail. Like you're talking the bench. 
the trail's right here. Anybody coming up, they're coming up through this way. Most of them come this way. Now, like I said, I came this way. But I know it's all downhill from this way too. So I was just letting them get a little ahead of me there. They had a bunch of kids with them. So yeah. So they're having a great time. So just do a double check here. Even though I didn't have much out, but like you know. Give them a little check. Yeah, so carry this back out because it doesn't fit in the, the, the backpack that I have. I mean, I could shove it in there like people. <sighs> We're not going to do that. So yeah, so what a great day. It is. What is it today? Today's September. Yeah. September 23rd. What's so good about today? You know what? I'll tell you what's so good about today. It's my birthday, so I went out for a little short hike, a little review on my sleeping bag, and it's nice and cool out now. See, and well, I'm not that far. Like I'm, if I was to go the other way, it'd be two and a half kilometers. This way here, I'm only a, it's only a one and a half kilometers back. Not sure. It's a. It's my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to me. Yeah, I was going for a little hike on my birthday. A little short hike, not much. I did go up and do another hike on another trail up and came back. Just did this little short one beside Frontenac, the little one beside the the office. Because I was I went specifically up there to. Where that bench was a little farther than what i thought it was like i said you always forget how far you're hiking in here but it's around like the uh, 435 i've been in here since maybe i got here a little late 1 30 i slept in i was tired so yeah today is sunday what a beautiful day A little bit of fresh air, a little bit of, little bit of breeze. Not too hot out, which I like. And that's another thing with the, your sleeping bag. You gotta find out if you're a hot sleeper, cold sleeper, just because you have a sleeping bag. Like I said, this one's rated for minus 12. You're like, minus 12, you can't sleep on that in the winter. Oh well, yeah, I can. It's just, uh, you gotta dress, dress for it properly, you know. Put your layers down, not only on you, but you gotta keep yourself off the ground. And it depends. You could go out in the middle of the winter, it could be minus 10 now, or it could be minus 30 now. It's always little challenges. That's a fun thing about it, I guess. But the reason I brought this is because of the press it down so much oh I'm gonna shut this uh, camera off because the battery's like gonna die I'm surprised it hasn't started flashing it I had one I put one it must have a dud battery already I put it in I didn't get no farther than 10 minutes and it started flashing dead so So, I turned the camera back on there. So, I'm, I'm walking through, walking up over the hill. All I hear is, now, it takes a lot to scare me. 
I do not flinch. It is very rare. I mean, you can get me. But if you do, it's... If you were to get me, I just like... Uh, uh, yeah, and I don't scream. I don't scream. So, like I said, when you're out here in the bush, you don't hear people. I had a guy <laughs> coming up behind me. And you can hear people talking, but he was coming by himself. He was jogging. He was pretty, he's moving pretty good. And all he said, I'm coming up behind you. <laughs> I went, yeah, go ahead. He was no farther than five feet before it. He was right there. Just like he appeared there out of the middle of nowhere. That was crazy. It didn't, it didn't startle me or nothing. And I wasn't looking around like I normally do. I was, it was so quiet. I didn't even hear him running. And as he went by, I heard him. Like, I swear. He says, I'm coming up behind you. And I stepped off the trail because he's running. Which I've, I've seen before, but I usually see them coming. Because they like, this is a great running spot for jockers too. Nice trails. He's right down by me. Now, the average person, if they're walking through, and you weren't paying attention, I might just scared the crap right out of them. Like I said, didn't face me a bit. Interesting. He was running softly. Oh, later. Just to let you know, this is the, the loop I did. Came in, I went up here, round. Then I came up through here. I like to sat around here. Then I just went back. I didn't do this full loop. I've done this before. Because that wasn't my purpose today, to do any big loops. I, I actually did another loop off to the side though. Almost forgot about that, yes. I'm going, I'm just walking to that swimming pool, <laughs> looking around. Oh, nobody, I guess everybody's parked over here. So yeah, so coming up, I caught up to the, I thought they were far enough ahead. I caught up to the family again, it's kind of fun. I caught up to the, one of the little boys. His mom was way ahead, the rest of them are, the family was way up. He was standing in the middle of the trail, I was coming up behind him. <laughs> I said, are you tired, buddy? He's like, eh, not really. <laughs> He's just a short guy. So I'm walking. I go, want me to walk with you? He's like, his mom was up there a little ways. He's like, take my hand. I go, okay, I got you. We'll walk together. Cause I'm getting tired too. So I walked a little ways holding his hand. It was funny, it was kind of funny. <laughs> it was comical. Then after that, he was okay. He was, Yeah, characters, characters. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So yeah, so back to the car soon. Right over here. Just gonna walk. Where? Oh, yeah, way up, way up over there. Yeah. There she is. Another great hike. Short hike, but great. Nice and cool out right now. Not sure what I'll be doing because it's my birthday and uh, I'm gonna get some pizza with extra cheese. Oh, yeah. There we are. Well, later. <laughs>